When you see rain, what do you see? When you hear rain, what is your emotion? When you are in the rain, how do you feel? I'm original from Taiwan, so rain is common there, especially during rain and typhoon seasons. After living in South California for a few years, I decided to move to Washington State. When I told my friends that I'm going to move there, they always warned me that I might get depressed because it rained so much. After living here for years now, I'm not going to say that I love rain, but learn how to get along with it and even appreciate the rain more. I'm grateful that I live in a quiet community, so when it rains, I only hear rain. Of course, except cars driving by and dogs barking. I actually enjoy the rhythm and sound of rain, especially the smell of rain that reminds me of my hometown and childhood. Before moving to our own house that was designed by my dad, we lived in a teacher residence, which was a Japanese-style cute house with front and backyards. My favorite part of this house was tatami. Tatami is a style of mat used as a flooring that is unique throughout traditional Japanese houses. It was made by rush grass around a rice straw cord to keep the tatami mat firm and dry. I love its smell and texture. We prayed, sat, slept, and even ate on the tatami mat. We added a tatami table as dining table and the study desk. When we slept, we removed the tatami table and added thick blankets as a mattress. I was sharing one big tatami with my sisters, so we had so much fun sleeping and playing pillow fight together. Also, when it's summer, the tatami kept the floor cool for us to just sleep on. That's why I really like tatami, and the smell of rain kind of reminds me about the smell of tatami. It's not a new house, so when it rained so hard, Raindrops were linking from the ceilings. We had to catch water by putting buckets on the floor everywhere. That created the natural concert by rain from outside and water hitting the buckets inside of the house. As a child, I had so much fun with my sisters and parents inside of the house by playing cards, Chinese chess, and catching the raindrops. Also, there was a space between the floor and ground. 
When a huge typhoon came, the space was filled with water, and our house became a boat. Sleeping on the tatami mat during typhoon nights was crazy because we can hear stuff floating on the water beneath our floor. It's scary, but all were unforgettable memories with my family. Do you have any special story that relates to rain? In the Seattle area, we can have a rain, sun, hail, snow, all on the same day. Or even within a few hours, especially during spring. These changes can be unpredictable or switch from one to another in no time. For example, when I filmed some clips for this video, I was so helpless. Why? I was out to catch the things that I wanted one day. When I got in my car, it was pouring, which was exactly what I wanted. However, when I got to the destination, where it was only eight minutes away, the rain stopped. I was thinking that it would rain soon, so I waited in my car. Unfortunately, it's not raining, but the sun peeking out of dark clouds. I usually feel happy when I see sunshine and blue sky. However, at that moment, I wasn't sure if I should feel happy or disappointed. I have painted a series of paintings about rain since I moved to Washington State. I tried to catch the atmosphere of rain, created realistic raindrops on leaves, and also rain in motion. Today, I decided to create a scene where most people might not pay attention to because they are ordinary. When I walk by them, these leaves just move along with the breeze and create their own harmony. That had caught my attention. I just use the masking flu for the second time on certain area. I want those raindrops to show the pure white or maybe the natural white from the paper. So I want to keep those area are really bright and the pop out. That's why I use the masking flu again the second time on those raindrops. When I grew up, I was told not to walk in the rain, otherwise you will catch a cold or lose your hair. However, people here are walking and jogging no matter sunny or rainy days without a raincoat nor an umbrella. That is so different from where I grew up. Being active outside on rainy days seems ordinary here. That has made me wonder what being ordinary actually means. Also, is it important to be ordinary? And can you stand out from the cloud when you are ordinary? What do you think? In this painting, I did not make the front ground as my main focus. 
Instead, I want to emphasize the middle ground by creating very front and back grounds. I like to create the illusion of space in my paintings so the viewers can visualize the depth of my artwork. Thank you for staying with me to create this painting, listen to my memories of rain, and think about the meaning of being ordinary. Please leave me a comment to let me know if you like today's content, want to share your stories, and suggest what content that you would like to see more on my channel. Before you go, please drop me a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification. I would like to see you all soon. Happy painting!